Here's to new memories. Perhaps they will be good ones this time. What's up everybody, it's your boy Carpo here with another Marvel Heroes Omega video. Today we're going to be showing you how you can easily pass your Omega Trial with magic. One of the four horsemen of Apocalypse. Now let's start off with our gear. In our catalyst slot we went with the mystical energy with double invis. Always going to make everything a little bit easier. For our medallion we went with the Celsius medallion. We got crit and it's going to buff that magic damage. And for our legendary, we have our Omega legendary, Arc to the Dark Child. We have it at rank 1, so we have 10% extra base damage. And we randomly picked up one Omega piece of gear for our gear, and the rest is cosmic. All situated around deflect, brutal damage, crit damage, dodge, and all of that other good stuff. Uh, now for the ring, we have Kingpin's Ring of Statue. One all abilities plus summons. For our artifact, we got Ultron's Fellow Bean. Iron Legion Armor Seath, and last but not least, Electric Bandana. Now, all of these artifacts is going to buff our melee as well as our summons power. And then for our relic, we have the complete relic of Wakanda, giving it plus one all attributes and dodge rating. All this is going to top us up to around 46,000 health, 37% on the damage reduction. We don't have a lot of defense, but we have 4,700 deflect and dodge. But with this build with magic, she's a beast. You don't even have to worry about it. Now let's go on with our power assignments. Now for square, we're going to bind Soul Shockwave. This is going to be our range magic sword. We're going to bind that and it's going to do major damage. And then on triangle, we're going to bind our next ability, which is Scorchious Eruption. This is a melee magic. It's also going to weaken our enemies for eight seconds as well. And then on circle, we're going to bind our ability to get us out of those crowd control situation. That step disc. Now for our spammable ability that we're going to bind to X, we're going to go with Spirit Fangs. Spirit Fangs is going to also increase damage of summon powers that supply to this whenever we use it. Now for our cycle of abilities, on square we're going to bind a lesser demons. Now this is going to be a summon ability, so once we use it, you don't have to worry about it until we want to use it again. It's going to deal major damage to those ads. Now also we're going to hit Soul Brand. We're going to bind that to Triangle. This is also going to confuse enemies. Now for our next ability, we're going to go with Command Fist of Nazareth. We're going to bind that to O. This is also another summon ability that's going to deal major damage. And then last but not least, our signature move of the Worldly Nova. We're going to bind that to X. Those are our cycle of abilities. Now for our talents, we're going to go with Fleeting Soul. So Spirit Fangs fire fewer projectiles in a tighter line. And it also have a minus 7. So it's going to make it even more spammable. And then we have Branded Mind, so Soul Brand Effects is going to be automatically triggered when we use our magic power. And when we use it manually, it also will confuse it. And then we're going well with Limbo's Enforcer, so that's going to transform into Command Fist. And then Restless Spirit, so when we automatically trigger two Vengeful Spirits when we use those abilities. And then last but not least, Explosive Will, this is going to give Soul Shockwave 200% extra damage and Scorchius Eruption 200% extra damage as well. That's going to round out our hero talents. Now for our synergies, we have magic melee summon, bonus attack speed, damage over time, damage versus bosses, normals and elites, defense and dodge rating, durability and fighting rating, health, health regen, health on fit, and spirit as well. Now as far as our infinity points, in the mine we have 60 and that's going to be spent a little bit on crit but mostly on spirit. And then in the power, we went with that lot of brutal damage. Got to add that brutal damage. A little bit of strike chance as well. Then in the reality, we did a little bit of base damage to signature powers. In the soul, we went with against all odds and in resilience to get that health regen going. In the space, we had that lovely buff to that damage and health. And last but not least, in the time gem, we just have a few points there for that hex move speed. Now with that said and done, let's see Magic in her Omega Trial. Enjoy.
revenge, for the Red Skull shall always return. Nice, and that's going to end it for this video. Thank you for all the love and support. Magic is one of the easier heroes to get the old Omega trial, so make sure you go ahead and pick her up. And as always, have some fun with Marvel Heroes Omega, and I will see y'all soon. Thanks so much.